Can you answer these quiz questions? Which field in an Ethernet Type 2 header identifies the Layer 3 protocol? Is it port, protocol, window, or type? What about this question? Which field in the IP version 4 header identifies the Layer 4 protocol? Port, protocol, window, or type? And lastly, which field in the TCP header identifies a Layer 7 application? Is it port, protocol, window, or type? I'm going to show you the answers to these questions by using Wireshark. But if you want to try and answer the questions yourself and need more time, pause the video at this point. Otherwise, continue watching and I'll show you the answers to this question. Okay, so in this example, I've got Wireshark running on my computer. I'm going to start capturing packets on my Ethernet Zero interface. Now, there's a lot of traffic at the moment, but what I'm going to do is filter for HTTP. So I'm only looking at HTTP traffic that's being captured on my Ethernet interface. What I'll do is open up Google Chrome and then browse to cisco.com. And as you can see, some HTTP traffic has been captured. Okay, so first question is, which field in an Ethernet Type 2 header identifies the Layer 3 protocol? So notice this is an Ethernet 2 frame sent from a Apple computer, which is my local computer, to a Cisco router. So destination is a Cisco MAC address, source address is an Apple device, and notice here, type field, IP version 4, 0x0800. Zero zero so the answer to the first question is type. The type field in an Ethernet 2 frame identifies the Layer 3 protocol. Layer 3 protocol is IP version 4. I'll stop this Wireshark capture because there's a lot of traffic on the network. But notice once again, Ethernet 2 frame, the type field identifies the layer 3 protocol. Next question, which field in the IP version 4 header identifies the a layer 4 protocol? So layer 3 header, which field identifies the layer 4 protocol? Opening that up, notice the protocol field identifies the layer 4 protocol, which in this case is TCP. So protocol is TCP in this example, so that's the answer. Which field in the TCP header identifies a layer 7 application? So there's IP version 4, there's TCP. So let's have a look at TCP. Notice destination port is 80. The port number identifies the layer 7 application. Port number is 80. That is HTTP as shown over here. We are going to cisco.com. I opened up an HTTP session to cisco.com. So, to summarize, at a layer two, we have the type field that identifies the layer three protocol. At a layer three, we have the protocol field that identifies the layer four protocol. At a layer four, we have source and destination port numbers. Port number identifies an application. Port 80 is HTTP. Port 20 and 21 are FTP. Port 69 is TFTP, but that's UDP at layer four. 23 is Telnet, 22 is SSH, and so forth and so on. You need to know some of the well-known port numbers for the CCNA exam. You need to understand that at layer two, we have an Ethernet frame type field identifies the layer three protocol. In this example, it's IP version four. It could have been IP version six, but here we're using IP version four. At layer three, the protocol field identifies the layer four protocol. In this example, it's TCP, but it could have been UDP. And at layer four, port numbers identify applications. Well-known applications such as HTTP, FTP, SSH, Telnet, and so forth run on a well-known port. 
So as an example, if I want to connect to a router using Telnet, that router has a server process listening on port 23, and I initiate a session to port 23 to access the Telnet service on that server. Or same with HTTP. Facebook, as an example, will have a HTTP server listening on port 80. I initiate a session to port 80. Now, typically today we want to use HTTPS rather than HTTP, so that would be port 443. So server would typically listen on port 80, but redirect you to port 443 so that HTTPS is used. Hope you're enjoying these quiz questions. If you are, please like this video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're watching this video on YouTube. I'm David Bombal, wanna wish you all the very best.